Today, I thought I'd show you how to make these pineapple upside down cakes. This was actually a request from a friend of mine. After she saw them, she wanted to know how to make them. So I thought, eh, I'll just make a video. Then everybody can see. So stay tuned and see what we do. Right, so our first step is to get the cake base made and to do that we need a paper plate to bake on because remember I always bake on a paper plate and we're just using whatever off whitish colored clay you have it doesn't matter we do want to start with an off white clay because if we try to start out with anything darker than off white it will it won't have that translucency that we need for a baked cake. So, and what I've got here, I've got two eighth inch by eighth inch pieces of craft wood. Because this needs to be thicker than what my pasta machine can do it. So I just put the clay in between and roll it out. And my cutter I'm using is about three-fourths of an inch. You don't want to go any bigger than three-fourths, much bigger. If you had seven-eighths, that would be perfect, actually. When I make a pineapple upside-down cake for real, I do it in my 10-inch cast iron skillet. So that would be about, in scale, about seven-eighths of an inch. So we've now cut that. So we're going to move it to our plate. And we need some chalk. We need some yellow ochre. Let's back the camera up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Let's get some yellow ochre and kind of a, a brownish color. Um, anything in that kind of color family is fine. And I don't see my brush. Where'd my brush go? There's my brush. It rolled away. I'm not in my, I've got like half my stuff picked up because we're packed away because we're trying to get rooms moved in our house and my daughter's switching bedrooms and I'm going to take her room and so all my, for craft room and all my stuff is packed up. Actually before we chalk it, we just want to barely, barely texture. You don't want much texture on this one because this isn't Usually a pineapple upside down cake is fairly smooth on the sides. It's not super, super textured. So lightly texture it. That's just some aluminum foil. Start with your yellow ochre. I always start with yellow ochre and then go darker. Just like cake starts out in real life, it starts out light colored and it gets darker as it bakes. I'm going to do the same thing. Now i got a little bit of brown here too. And we don't need to really get a lot of color on it. Our, our last step, our final step, will actually put a lot more color onto it than what we're doing now. So that's pretty much all we do with the cake part. So now let's make a couple of pineapples. For our pineapples, I'm using a different clay today. This is actually, I was going to buy... Normally when I do pineapple upside down cake, I buy a yellow and I mix it with translucent. Well, when I got to my craft store the other day, 
they didn't have any yellow clay. All they had was this transparent yellow. And that's what I'm using, and it's working perfectly. So I'm gonna, this is rolled out on the number two setting on my pasta machine. My pasta machine thickest is number one and thinnest is number six. So this is the th number two setting. And I'm just going to make one because I've got a bunch made. But I'll show you what you do. But uh, this is the smallest camphor cutter I had. Put it on your board, on your baking tray. Take something and make a hole in the middle. And then you can use a needle tool. This is a dental pick. I love these for working with clay. I got it at Dollar Tree. It came in a little set with a little mirror, which is also really handy for working on dollhouses. And you're just going to make little lines because pineapple, first off, pineapple is pretty translucent. And it's got these little lines coming out from the middle. That's all there is to making that. Now this is just red clay. This is just, in fact, what color is it? It is carmine. So that's a pretty bright red. I'm just going to take a little tiny, that's way too much. Helps if you put it in the palm of your hand and kind of just break off a little bit. And that's really about all. And take just a little tiny bit. Then I take my dental tool and I pop it in the middle of the pineapple. Now I bake it that way because after I made a whole tray of cherries one day and picked up my plate and had cherries roll all over my carpet, I figured out that, duh, put it in the middle of the pineapple slice, it won't go anywhere. So bake this stuff whatever your clay temperature says for about eight or ten minutes. It doesn't take much. And they'll look like this. You, by the way, you need seven pineapple slices with cherries in them for your cake. Now we need to add color and we need to add that gooey brown sugar butter mixture that goes on the top. And we need to do that we need amber glass stain. I love amber glass stain. Now don't panic. I know it looks really really funky right now. It looks like it's a dark color. It looks like it's not going to be see-through. You'll be able to see through it. It's okay. Squeeze some out. I've got two bottle caps. I've got two because this is going to be for our glass stain, our just glass stain, and this one will be for our sugar topping. This that I'm adding to it is just brown craft sand. We've used this before for different things. Craft sand is a wonderful product to use in your miniature foods. Stir it together until you get a really good kind of a pasty consistency. And then plop it on here. I find it helps if I kind of pick it up. Actually, I think I'm going to pick this up and pour it on. Try not to mix too much. Usually when I do this, I do four or five cakes at a time. So I've got quite a bit made up, but right now I'm just trying to do one. You want to get this all over. Because when you make a pineapple upside down cake, you melt your butter and you mix in the brown sugar. And that's in the bottom of your pan that you put your pineapples in and your cherries and then your cake batter comes on top and you make a cake on top of that. So now we need a brush and we're going to take some of this plain glass stain. We're going to kind of wipe it around. I forgot to do that first. You can do this step either before or after you put that sand on. Now, let's, and these will stick to your paper plate when you bake it. So you need to get your little scraper. Just kind of gently pop them up. 
So see how translucent they came out? They came out really, really translucent. They make a beautiful pineapple slice. One goes in the middle. This is how many pineapple slices I put on a real pineapple upside down cake too. In fact, I made a real one yesterday just so I could figure out how many pineapple slices really do fit on there. There's three, four, Come on. Five, six, six, and seven. Oops, flipped upside down. That's okay. I find my tweezers work the best for this step, but if you're having trouble with the tweezers, try your fingers all what works best for you. Now, we need to take a bunch of this and I need more. I didn't put enough out. I've been having trouble with this container of glass stain paint all day. There's a dried up lump inside of it, so I've been having trouble with it all day long. There we go. It keeps getting clots. It's almost empty. It's hard to tell with these because the containers are opaque, but I know it's almost empty because it's getting really, really light. Now this glass stain paint will actually work not only to make it look baked, but it will also kind of help to hold on all of our pineapples and stuff that and the, it holds on the sand and everything. That works as both a glue and a finish. And I know it looks really, really weird right now, doesn't it? Because that's really opaque, but it does turn out just like these. In fact, I've got a whole bunch made. I made a whole bunch today. And they all looked like that. They all looked all opaque and everything. And the base for this, I just took some gray cardstock that I had sprayed with a aluminum colored um, um, spray paint. Punched it out with a one inch hole punch and glued them on. And there you go. There's a bunch of pineapple upside down cakes. Yum! Until I... so... just have fun with the project. If you make it Shoot me an email. Let me know. I'd love to see what you've done. And until then, just have fun with your minis, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.